Okay, so now in Code Kingdoms, we now turn the lights on um, and we know that we can create our own variables and we, those variables can change as we go along. So the next stage we're going to look at is really quickly is while loops and um, do while basically does something until a criteria is met. So we're going to have it so that we have it so um, we're going to count some numbers. Okay, we're going to start with one um, and we're going to we're going to count to two, three, four, five. We're also going to introduce the idea of um, being able to take a number variable and use it and then add to it. So I'm going to start off on here, sorry, on the, the circle one, and there is loops down here. So the only loop I'm going to worry about to start with, if this, start, if this works, does, so I don't know why this isn't dragging down, but we don't need it, that's okay, is while. So what it's got on it is it says while something is happening, okay, so while something's happening, um, keep doing this until that point. So we need a test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the variable that is in here, Let's go back to where well, some of this stuff is not running today, and I don't know why. There we go, we've got it running now. I'm going to use their variable called my number, and I'm going to start my number, I'm going to equal it to the number one. Okay, so I'm going to start equaling number one, and I'm going to say whilst and I click on this test, so something, so I'm going to say when this, so do while. Uh, it's less than the number four, so it'll count up to five. So I can use left and right. So left is less than right. I've got all the other options to use. I could have left equals right, left does not equal right, less than, greater than, greater than or equal, or less than and equal to. So I'm going to have less than. So do while number is. And sorry, we want the global's my number. So whilst the my number variable is less than, um, and we'll get a number there five. So what that's going to do is it's going to say set my number to one, and keep doing running this script, keep looping it until whilst the my number is less than five. Okay, so it starts at one. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to print our number out. Okay, so micro bit say, and we're going to say what the number is. We're then going to take our variable and we're going to add something to it. I'm going to add one to it. So if we get to our variable, we're going to go my number equals, and then I'm going to use left plus right. Okay, and then on the left side, I'm going to put my number and on the right side I'm going to put one. Now this is where things start to get a little bit confusing because I'm saying my number starts off equals one then while it's less than five print the number then make that number equal whatever the number equals at the present moment in time and add one to it okay and then it's going to loop back around again and then what I always find is useful here is some sort of weight uh, so it's in milliseconds, I can use about a thousand. I'll wait a thousand, and then it's going to loop back around. So it's going to keep looping. It's going to go one, two, three, four. And when it gets to five, it will stop itself. Okay, so if I run that, you should be able to see the code on here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Well, it won't go to five, sorry, because it's less than five. So what I have done there is I have used a while loop. So while this happens, do this. Okay. So we say my number variable equals one. Keep doing this next bit of code on whilst it's less than five. So say what the number is. Take the number that I've put in and make that number, my number variable, equal to the number that it currently is adding one. And then wait 1000 and then it'll loop back around, it'll check is it less than 5. 
and keep going. So it goes, my number equals one. Right, that's less than five, that's fine. Print number one. It Take my number and equals whatever my number is now, it's number one, plus one, so it makes two. Then it goes, I'll wait this, then I'll go back, right, two is less than five, we'll print two, and now we're, my number is going to equal whatever it is at the moment, which is two, plus one, which makes three. Wait a thousand, come back, yep, yeah, three is less than five, print the number three, so on and so forth. So that way we can use loops, but we can also take variables and add to those variables um, continuously. We can take the value of the variable and add something to it. Um, so that's kind of the next bit with while loops.